This video will serve as an introduction to the Pivot Farm data sheet and the various elements that make up the data sheet. As you can see, the data sheet is quite comprehensive. There's quite a few elements that uh, it comprises of. The main focus, of course, is the confluence power zones. This is what the sheet is all about, and the various elements described, including pivot points, Fibonacci clusters, etc., they all feed in to the central table. Um, with the f that contains the confluence power zones, that strip in red. Okay, so let's kind of delve in and we can start working with the various elements. Like I said, the key uh, focus of the data sheet is the power zones matrix, and this is essentially the table that's in the center of the, the data sheet. It comprises of a red strip of power zones. Uh, these are the key zones that we've identified in our analysis, and also a basic run through of the various elements that focus on that power zone um, that, that it comprises of. Not all the in, uh, elements in, are included, you know, due to the limitations of space, um, but you know some of the key elements are, are there for you. Um, the next part of the data sheet is the prior day summary. Um, this is a very simple table describing the open, high, low, close, and range of the last trading day. We also have a table for the Fibonacci clusters. Um, this essentially describes extensions and retracements across multiple time frames and where these uh, retracements and extensions happen to coincide and cluster with each other. That, that's what makes up a Fibonacci cluster. And we've described those elements within this particular table. The next part of the data sheet are, is the pivot points tables. Um, we use five different calculations here, so you've got the standard or the classic, um, you've got Camarilla, Woody, the floor pivot, and we also use the Daymark calculations. And these are essentially derived from the open, high, low and close of the, of the previous trading day and you know, uh, include various calculations as described. Uh, another element of the data sheet is the volume profile. Now this is a very simple chart at the bottom of the table uh, of the sheet and essentially a trader would just click on that and it would be enlarged and it would give the volume profile of that particular day so you would have volume at price and also volume at time. Um, the blue line on the, sh on the uh, actual diagram is the volume weighted average price or the VWAP and uh, this one you know diagram provides uh, traders with the key volume information for that particular instrument. Okay, we also have uh, at the bottom of the sheet a trend indicator. It uses a traffic light system um, where green is bullish, grey is neutral and red being bearish. Uh, we use multiple time frames, so you've got short, medium and long. Short term is around one to two days. Medium is three to four days or anything up to a week and long is around two weeks. Um, Pivot Farm and you know the tools that we provide are essentially aimed at day traders and hence the relatively short time frame. Okay, next on the list we have the, the core index, which is the commitment of traders index. Now we've used a particular form of analysis for this in which you follow the commercial traders and you trade against the large and small traders. And it's the same traffic light system that we incorporate here. So you're looking for uh, on the long side, um, you know, for the com uh, commercial traders to have a high rating, so we have 73 here. Um, the large traders to have a relatively low rating, and uh, to be bullish, and we would want the small traders to be the same, have a relatively low rating. This would give us an overall bullish view viewpoint, and uh, vice versa for uh, for a bearish view. Uh, this information is released weekly by the CFTC and uh, we include it on the data sheet for the entire week until the next piece of data is available. Uh, we also include open gaps, which are a key form of support and resistance. Uh, these are essentially the unfilled gaps between prior session, uh, the prior session close and open, and what we're looking for is essentially these gaps to get filled in future sessions. Next we have naked VPOX. Uh, this is a derivative of the volume profile information that you saw earlier 
and essentially it's describing um, the volume point of control which is the highest point of volume for a particular trading day and when that point of control much like the open gaps hasn't been filled that's described as a naked VPOC. Okay we also have market profile information and this is essentially describing the value of your high, the point of control and the value of your low levels for volume and time price opportunity calculations. We've also gone a step further and provided these calculations across multiple time frames. So you've got the daily uh, market profile numbers, you've got the five day market profile numbers, and you also have the 20 day market profile numbers. Um, we also have a tool that we call the IMAP or the indicator map. And essentially this is a, a tool at a quick glance that gives you the bias across five different indicators. It works in the same traffic light system um, as some of the other tools that we provide and essentially it's, desc it's describing the CCI, the MACD, um, the a momentum indicator, stochastics and RSI and where, where these indicators are showing um, you know, potential bullish movement, they're green, um, vice versa for, uh, for, uh, for, for a red indication and gray for neutral. We also include in the data sheet bank flow data uh, and this is information collected from sources uh, within banking realms that describe major uh, order placement by institutions. Um, we found this to be a valuable you know, tool for traders to use as part of their analysis um, and as a gauge of you know, potential support and resistance in, uh, in the market. Okay, next we have uh, the key news events. Um, this information describes particular news events that will be affecting that instrument. So it won't be describing all the news events of the day, just anything specific to that particular instrument. Um, specific to the FX uh, data sheets, we have the retail trader ratios. This is information that we collect from a variety of brokers and creates an average. And essentially it's describing um, the positioning of retail traders and these are generally the traders who tend to be wrong in the marketplace so it's a contrarian indicator so um, it, again it works in the same traffic light signal um, in this case um, this is the uh, retail trade information for the yen, yen which has been uh, going down uh, for the last few months um, and retail traders are 75 percent long what we're looking for is for 66% of retail traders to be long and that would give us a strong short signal and that's essentially what we've created here. Uh, the last part of the data sheet um, is the video analysis and this is essentially a video piece that's describing key news events and general analysis that can be used by traders um, you know, as and when they please. Um, thank you very much for listening. We hope you enjoyed listening to all the various elements of the data sheet.